It's hot. I've been working hard. Your girl been working hard. I'm going to give people a chance to load up. This is cool. I like that. I like that. Let's keep that. Hey, welcome to my channel. Naughty Love Movement. Naughty Love Movement. I'm giving people a chance to load up in the room. And we're going to get into, we just going to chat. We're going to kick it. While I wait for that, let me see what trends and topics are out here. Hey, make sure y'all hitting that like button. What's going on? I'm trying to see what's going on on these trending topics. Your girl been busy this today, okay? I um did some spring cleaning. Got a bag together for Goodwill. It's that time of the year. Did a lot of cleaning and stuff like that. And so I'm just waiting for my chicken hay to um, defrost. And then I'm going to start cooking. How's everybody doing? Happy Sunday. I hope everybody's having a beautiful Sunday. Did anybody watch Freaknik? Mm-hmm. Did anybody watch Freaknik? Mm-hmm. Make sure y'all hitting that like button. Yes. Wow. So much going on. I just jumped on from my phone. Because I was like, I don't feel like being on the porch today. She ain't got some cute stuff. Might get me a new bathing suit for vacation. Thank you so much, Unknown. I appreciate you joining. Please make sure y'all hit that like, share, comment. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Did anybody watch Freak Nick? Mm-hmm. Did anybody watch Freak Nick? Hey, Miss K. Kareem. How are you? Thank you for joining. I just kind of hopped on here to check in with my naughty crew to see how everybody's feeling today. I'm having a beautiful, beautiful, blessed day. Got a lot done. Got a lot of cleaning out done. A lot of throwing out. It's spring cleaning time, you know? So I'm going on vacation next month, so I just want to make sure everything is in order before I leave. Please make sure y'all hitting that like button. Follow us on all our different social media platforms. Yes, follow us, follow us. Come follow me, come follow me, come follow me now. Right now. Yes. So I watched Shirley last night and I felt like Regina King did an excellent job, but I fell asleep. But I appreciate her ambition. She was a very ambitious woman. Um, did not take no for an answer. Um, and I thought it was the perfect movie for Women's History Month. 
Um, and I think she portrayed a very good congresswoman in all the challenges she had to face, but she was resilient. Like, unfortunately, it was a lot of jealous people. Hey, Dorothy. I wonder if this is the Dorothy I know. No, because it's spelled different. So, yeah, I watched that, and then I watched Freaknik. And Freaknik, I was just like... I like to hear about the history. The history and how it came together. So, ultimately, how it came together is um, a bunch of students in Atlanta, they really couldn't afford to go away for spring break or go home. So, they started forming this picnic. Um, and it was really about the kids getting together, breaking bread, just having a good time. And then it, evol it evolved through the years, you know, with culture evolving but it was an epicenter for fashion hairstyles and also that's where the black woman was able to be able to liberate it sexually oh srt said they need a modern day freak neck mm -hmm. and these are the founders behind me they are the ones that started it All right, and then through time, that's when it became more sexualized, when Luke came into town and things like that. I want to rock, I want to rock, I want to rock, do the brown, do the brown, do the brown. Hey, from Cleveland, hey, Derek. Thank you for joining. Let me know where y'all joining me from. Cleveland, Ohio in the house. I'm repping Jersey, New Jersey. I'm a Jersey girl all day. So y'all let me know if anybody watched Freaknik. Now, our version of Freaknik on the East Coast was, we called it the Greek Fest, you know? And it's the same idea. All the colleges come together, the frats, everything. Everybody parties and drinks and it's just a whole bunch of obscene things going on. But for the most part... Everybody's having a good time. Okay, so you saw Freak Nick. Matrix, Matrix, what did you think? Did you think we needed this film or you were good without it? But a lot of artists evolved out of Freak Nick. You had Usher. Killer Mike, Ludacris. They all evolved out of this era. But this was the black people's answer to spring break, you know. But one thing I liked about the founders, they said, all were welcome, but this is for us, okay? Woo. Oh, shout out to Hollywood Unlocked. They're saying Kim Kardashian and Odell Beckham Jr. reportedly call it quits. That is the best news I heard all day if it's true. You know, these these blogs, they be a little shifty, okay? So sources claim Kim Kardashian loves the idea of having a baby with Odell Beckham Jr. He has such great genetics. Then another article says, okay, Kim Kardashian and Odell Beckham Jr. gave a little PDA backstage at the Oscars. And I remember that. I don't want them to be together anyway because that family ruins men. So let's see what Hollywood Unlock is saying. So get into this. Kim Kardashian and Odell Beckham Jr. have reportedly called it quits after dating for six months. She changed boyfriends like she do... Her underwear, if she wears any. I'm just saying. Um, as you know, the reality star 43 is said to have begun dating the NFL player 31 in the fall of 2023. The two were first linked in September of 2023, but neither one had confirmed the rumored relationship. This is giving me they were friends with benefits for a while, okay? It was never any real commitment because he know. 
he know what H-O-E Kemp is, okay? He just wanted his piece of the pie. Make sure y'all hitting that like button, share my content. So the two would continue to spark romance rumors, being spotted at the same events together. In early February, the two were spotted in Las Vegas ahead of the Super Bowl. They were seen at a luxury hotel together, and the pair continued to add fuel to the romance flames when they were spotted going to Chateau Marmont, okay, for Jay-Z and Beyonce's post-Oscar party earlier this month. So, however, according to Daily Mail, the two have not been seen together since making their joint appearance at the Vanity Fair Oscars viewing party in Los Angeles on March the 10th. Also, sources recently claimed that Kartrashan liked the idea of having a fifth baby with Odell. However, it's now being reported that the two have parted ways and are no longer seeing one another. Well, only time with hey great team. Only time will tell, okay? Just because we don't see them together, that don't mean they together. But I have a secret sneaking suspicion. Odell really doesn't want like this romance publicized. Um and it's only a couple of reasons why he like I don't think he really want to claim it like that. He probably just want to hit that. Mm -hmm. He probably just want they just having fun. They was just having fun. But Odell, I think, has kids already. So I don't think kids will be a, a, a deal breaker. But all in all, like, because I was in tears when I found out these two were dating. I mean, we see what the car trash and stood them in. And I just said, uh, I like Odell. I'm a Giants fan. I'm from Jersey. Jersey strong, okay? Um, and he got us some rings. And um, I think he can do better than this. I really do. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about the rumored breakup, all right, of Odell and Kim Kardashian. Ooh, shout out to Unwind with Tasha K. Now, she done dropped some tea in regards to it. She said, exclusive. Hashtag Odell Beckham Jr. is pissed. That hashtag Kim Kardashian allegedly leaked the video of them taking, oh, talking to each other at one of them award show parties. And what sent Odell back to missing black women was after Kim K did an interview bragging about having babies with good hair and good features. Whoa. This is why he allegedly dumped the third sister from that family that he has allegedly slept with. <laughs> Shots fired. Yeah, you know, they like sleeping with each other men. There's no boundaries. They like sleeping with each other men. Let me see what some of the comments are saying. Oh, she just did a poll. All right, let's see what some of the comments. Kim is going to have a hard time getting anyone to take her serious. Four black kids by Kanye will eliminate most white guys of stature, and we know why. That leaves black men of some status who don't want to run behind Kanye or all the other dudes she rocked with before excuse me, beautiful and successful woman, but her stock has dramatically increased in the relationship area. And although she's not old, she's not young anymore either, especially when these men can date 20 year olds. Good point. Shout out to Vicky Irvin. Good point. Ooh. Yeah, but I'm not surprised that they're broken up. And they probably just did it for the clout anyway. You know, these celebrities, they get with each other just, just so they could get a little popular. That's why I think she did the Pete. I don't think she was ever into Pete Davidson, but I think she wanted to trend. What kind of chicken do y'all think I should make? I'm trying to think. I'm definitely baking it. Eris, um, T.I. and Tiny Daughter has a new video. People are losing their ever-loving minds.
Oh, Selena Gomez look good. Let me see what I have in my stash for my save stories. Tommy is going off on Natalie, but they always had a back and forth. And they also um, had a boxing match. And Tommy got her butt behind beat, but they trending. Hold on. So, you doing Chris Brown? Do you have a crush? Hold on. Tell them folks how you told me you and Chris Brown was on heroin. Stay out my business. Stay out my business. Why everything pertaining to me, you got to have a say so. Like, you got to come back with something. Like, girl, ain't you over there filming a the show? I left two days ago. Ain't you over there? Stay offline in my business. Bitch, I'm not out here telling the people how you jumped up and down and said, you're the devil. And I think I'm God pulling up on a white horse and you the devil. Out here praying to a baddie's God and want everybody to, man, I don't play with God. I don't do none of that. Don't play with me. I don't play with y'all. Bitch, talk about what you be doing. You need more help than me because you confused. I don't know if you sold your shit. Is you still got your shit or not? For claiming you the devil, you honestly, obviously have sold your <coughs> And I don't play like that. I don't Ooh, play like that I'm not in your business. I'm not online waiting to see what you said or did. Get off my dick one time. Hop off. Anyway. Who in LA right now? My key style is Miss Day Flight. I need some hands to make up. Let's get it. Let's get some money, man. That's what they talk about. Okay, Tommy. Natalie is the, it, it, Natalie, you are getting dragged from the rooter to the tutor, honey. Okay? You better keep your hands clean and stop telling your business. Cause as soon as they mad at you, they drag you online. Mm-hmm. Whack 100 gives an update on Blueface. Let's see what's going on with him. Mm -hmm. Did he get a violation or he got time? No, he's got a violation. How long he got? What he got? You know, he can get out any day. It's a violation. He can't do no longer than July 3rd. So, um, Jay Wait a minute. You gotta mute us. He, can, he can do whatever the law say they want him to do. Blueface ain't nobody. When it comes to being locked up, once you an inmate, the law could do whatever they want with you. These celebrities are delusional. Right, right. Yeah, so I got the attorneys working on it. It's a robbery. Cost me another 10, 15,000 to send the attorneys in there to show them motherfuckers what. Motherfucker, did you got a crime committed? No. So how are you issuing the violation? Right. Well, well, you know, we let him out in June, and now it's January. Yeah, well, we was violated when we took your misdemeanor back in California. When we took the misdemeanor in Vegas, it violated us in California. I just sprung it out six, seven months. We never, there was no other infraction committed. Know how to play that system, that's all. No, there's no other, yeah, no other Cheers. infraction committed. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be out. I'm gonna tell that nigga I said the internet is dry without him, man. I need this shit back. Nah, lines. fuck y'all. Even bitches like celebrity punk ass. Nah, Rock is the one say Rock need him. Without him, Rock is dead. That's a fact. I said, motherfucker, okay, I'm gonna show you. He shut down over four months and was going away. Now you really see. He in jail. What the bitch doing? She gotta use my name now. The other bitch gotta pay out more than she told me face, Blue, I need this, this, that. You fucked up, bitch. You played with Wack. Wack said he refused to go over there, so you gotta figure it out. Wack got all that. You did what you did. You said he had my dad robbed and wanna have you killed. Yeah, Wack got my phone, right? He sees the cameras. Hey, smack to you. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, 
I just be honestly been around her. That's why I say she needs somebody to polish her. But ain't nobody gonna polish her. The only one she gonna listen to is him. That's what I'm saying. That's her. The only one gonna deal with the bullshit. Nobody's going to deal with that. It's not gonna happen. All right, well, Blueface probably getting out soon. That's what I get from that. Saucy Santana. Chill. What you got to say, Saucy? Hey, Mary D. Let me see what Saucy got to say. I'm just here chilling. Um, happy Sunday to everybody. Um, I had did my chores and everything. I already took my shower. So, I'm just waiting for my chicken to defrost. So, I was like, let me jump on and check in with my Lottie crew. See what's going on in these trending topics. Mary, did you see Freak Nick? Did you see Freak Nick? Or did you see Shirley with Regina King? You let me know what you think about either one of them. Make sure y'all hitting that like button and share my content. Let me see what Saucy got to say. Hold on. And what's up with you independent? <laughs> Scared of it for money. Just like you slide the penis to the side, slide your pride to the side, baby. Bad. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with it. Who? When it comes to it, I don't have nothing. And I ain't asking, I'm begging. Please, baby, please. I don't have it. <laughs> These Princess Diana diamonds ain't cheap. Put up your fing mortgage. Are you dumb? Are you stupid? Stupid. That's dumb. That's just dumb. I just lost brain cells listening to that. Okay, you watching Shirley later. So I won't give it away. Let me see what May. So is it? Hold on. Mason Cameron reacts to Kobe Bryant's dad auctioning off replica of Kobe's 2000 NBA championship. What do y'all think about that? What do y'all think about Kobe's parents auctioning off his championship ring? It's given. They must be broke. That's not the type of thing you just auction off. All right, let's hear what Mason Cameron got to say. Hold on. Is it, is it verified that they're selling the ring because? And I want I want to ask that before I make this um statement. Is it verified that they um that Vanessa Bryant in in the Kobe estate? Is not doing anything for the parents? Uh, it's not verified. I'm, I'm going off of hearsay, what I've okay. heard news. But my, my logic was, why would you be in a situation even selling a ring? Right? If you don't need something, you know, it, like people who sell should be fucked up. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's just my, my understanding. If I'm wrong, you know, I'm, I'm uh, man enough to say that I'm wrong if, they, if it comes out later on. But yeah. this is just my assumption. Yeah, so we're just speaking hypothetically. So um, yep. when it comes, the reason why I say that, because um, history has shown a little bit that Kobe and his parents wasn't on the best of terms mm -hmm. because of their relationship. That's what it seems like in the public and from from news that I've read in times past. And I think that could play a part into why they're selling the ring. You know, sometimes with family, family members be so hurt by other family members that your family could sometimes do you the worst. And and it could be worse than what you would get in the street. So, and, and as much as that don't seem true, if you look back at um, even Kobe's, his funeral, his parents didn't really speak much at the funeral. So all of that plays a role into what we're seeing mm -hmm. right now. We will have to definitely find out why weren't they talking much in the funeral? You had everybody else speaking. Why weren't they speaking? So it lets you know that there's some inner work and term, turmoil in that family. But like you said, it could be that they felt like she turned them against the family. So this is real a touchy situation. Uh, like Mo said, everybody know Kobe wasn't fucking with his parents. Mm -hmm. Kobe wasn't fucking with his parents because his parents wasn't fucking with Vanessa. Mm -hmm. And Vanessa at a young age... They told him, you bugging out. You don't need to get with this girl. You're going to meet 100 girls. He went against his parents. Ended up meeting Vanessa. Ended up being his wife. We didn't hear too much about her scandals or fucking other niggas or anything else or running the streets or anything. So I get it as a parent and you have a young child 
in the NBA and you're trying to look out for him, but Kobe chose his girl and his girl, as far as I know, held him down and never got caught cheating. Kobe got caught cheating and she didn't leave. And she could have went divorced and tried to get half of it and she stuck with him. He bought her the $4 million bring when, when that happened as a gift, but she could have got more than a $4 million ring. Um, so I think that over all these years, there's still the animosity towards her um, for the parents. And look, she may have some animosity towards the parents as well. Like, yeah, you thought I was one of them and I'm not one of them. Like now, you you know, it's, it's a messed up situation because they don't get to see their grandkids. They don't have any yeah. communication. If it was a cool situation, then Vanessa could sit there and say, Look, I'll buy the ring. Give me the ring. Or I'll send you a little bit of what's coming in my way because she inherited everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm not blaming her, really, because she may feel like y'all thought I was a hoe this whole time and I wasn't. And y'all snubbed me. Not only snubbed me, snubbed your son. Not only snubbed your son. Don't have a relationship with your grandkids. And now, now, uh, you're just auctioning your son's ring. So two things with that. Yeah. It's even more like Mo said, maybe they need the money or maybe they just like, we don't want to even have a reminder. I'm going to go with Mo and say they need the money because me personally, even if you want to sell the ring, it didn't have to be done publicly. There's so many people that love Kobe Bryant that have money. Mm -hmm. It just could have been under the table that could have got done. This shouldn't have been a public issue, but it turned into a public issue. And I ended with this. Um, go to what Gilbert Arena said, you know, and not about this situation, about would you rather have 300 million and no championship or 50 million and a championship? And Gilbert Arena's like, I was Googling an NBA championship ring. Some shit's going for 6,200 right now. Yeah. That's it? 300 million and no ring. Hey, Cal. And switch topics. Like, it made me think about it. Like, what the fuck is the rings worth? If Kobe ring is 94,000, a regular nigga that was on the team shit is 2,200. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's my take on that. What y'all think? Y'all think it's right um, that the parents sell the ring? I mean, everyone is aware of the strange relationship that Kobe had with his parents. And they're right. It was because of... His wife, and he chose his woman. Um, but if Kobe gave him the ring, it's their property. They have a right to sell it if they want. Y'all let me do y'all agree with Cameron? I just think the relationship was really, really rocky. Um, I feel like it's still a strange. It's sad that they couldn't heal um as the result of the loss of Kobe and his daughter. Um, but I really feel like if it, if he gave it to them, they have the right to sell it if they want to. Uh, right. Okay. So Mary said, I would never sell the ring. As it, okay. Especially if that's all I have left of him. But their relationship is strained. It's been public for years how strained their relationship was. And it just goes to show, like, people need to value their family. Like, once your kids are adults, you can only suggest to them, you know, what your thoughts are. But ultimately, they're going to make choices on their own. And you have to decide, like, is that worth losing the relationship and missing out on your grandchildren's milestones and things like that? Is it worth it? I, I, I would rather have a relationship with my child and tolerate their partner as long as I ain't gotta live with them you know so I thought that was interesting Spice is out here running her mouth chill Spice is out here running her mouth about Jada um she was in the air Spice is always in the airport child I, right, maybe they do need the money. You're right, Mary D. Um, and if the, if it's the case that they need the money, they just need the money, right? But it's not Vanessa's responsibility to take care of them. They never accepted her. That's why you shouldn't burn bridges. 
So shout out to Hollywood Unlocked. Jada Kingdom tries to silence Spice as she claims Jada is pregnant. Here we go. I think they trolling. Ain't nothing going on there. The Vanderpump Rule Crew is, they falling apart. They are falling apart. Please make sure you hit that like button. So, um, Tiny and T.I.'s daughter, Eris, she just dropped a new music video. And Tiny is giving the background behind that. Uh, how do y'all feel about them pushing the celebrity stardom on her so young? Like, I'm sure she, she's a very talented little girl. Um, I don't know. Did y'all watch Freak Nick, by the way? Let's see what, um, Tiny got to say. Oh, this is sad. And Bang Bang actually wanted to have, um, and Eris to be a part of her song. She wanted Eris to be a song with her, so it was all her idea. And, of course, you know, we, we know Bang Bang from her other songs, and we love her, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, we like to hey, just be playing, and yeah. So she's saying that MC Light, it was MC Light idea behind the music video. I got so many charging wires. It's crazy. Let me see. Oh, shout out to Jen Jones and Jadakiss, which I'm so excited. Naughty Crew, April 5th, the locks is coming to New Jersey, and your girl is in the built-in. Yes, I can't wait. I can't wait to see them perform live. I'm excited. So, Jim Jones and Jadakiss marched to New York governor's office with healthcare workers. So, I thought this was dope. We got to highlight the good that um, some of the artists do, too. Here we go. So that's dope. They marching with the healthcare workers and um to the governor's office in regards to healthcare. Hold on. Um, Jim Jones and Jada Kiss have taken a stand in solidarity with healthcare workers protesting the new Medicaid restriction imposed by New York Governor Kathy Hocho. What is the new Medicaid restrictions? So, the 2024 Medicare income limit is 103000 to 206000 for couples. The numbers are based on your income. 
on your 2022 return. If more, than, if earn more than the Medicare income limit, you'll pay more for Medicare Part B medical coverage. All right, so it's been an increase. Let me see. Part A. Prescription drug costs, expansion for four. So it sounds like it's been an increase. And the limitations have been risen. But shout out to them brothers. Hey, the doll. Good afternoon. Shout out to those brothers. Um, for marching for a cause. I like Jim Jones, and I like, um, I like Jada Kiss, and I can't wait to go see The Locks on April 5th. Yes, we outside, we outside. Hey, St. Hudson, hey, Booski. Happy Sunday, girl. I've been missing you. Yes. Yes, I can't wait to see him live, chow. April 5th, April 5th. I cannot wait. That's going to be a nice pre-vacation jam. Thank you so much. And they butchered them the last time, but thank you. I get them threaded. So what I did talk about for those just joining the room, Odell Beckham and Ken Cartrashy and broke up because y'all know I was heartbroken <laughs> that my boy got with the trash, okay? But I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. <gasps> Seeing fools. Seeing fools. She always move fast. Girl, that girl changed men like her panties. But I'm happy they broke up. I'm just saying. I don't think he was like, I don't even think. They never really solidified or announced that they was together. So I just think it was friends with benefits. That's what I think it was. He wasn't trying to claim her. But um, Kim is, she's such a liar. And she's so sneaky. Until she stopped playing the little games that she play. She never going to get nobody genuine. But she just need to face the fact that she the old bitch in the club now. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody checking for your trashy and ass. I was in tears when I found out he was dating her. I gotta go cook dinner soon. What kind of wings should I make, y'all? I'm waiting for them to defrost. Oh, finally, Ariana Maddox buys $1.6 million home in L.A. after post-split real estate battle with ex-Tom Sandoval. Thank God. <laughs> Orange pepper. I got to go get that seasoning. I don't feel like frying, though. How can I make them back? I can make them bake like that. All right, I guess I'll go to the store. I need some... Um, I got rice. Yes, the Paris Hilton days are done. I'm over her. I wish she go sit down and raise her kids somewhere. Orange pepper. I've been wanting to try that, though. I have to tell you. I got lemon pepper for sure. Juju looks good. Akbar, Akbar be trying to trend child and it don't work. Orange pepper is great. Okay, I'm gonna go to the store and get some. I gotta go get 
some salad for tomorrow because you know i gotta watch my figure we vacation mode naughty crew we going on vacation next month so we get the stomach down you know what i'm saying but like today me moving around spring cleaning and stuff that's that's giving me the momentum to get in workout mind or whatever but we want to get this gut down i want to do the pub the 30 days pilates challenge but we don't have a wall my mom literally has art on every single wall in the house yeah orange pepper what kind of sauce would y'all um have with the orange pepper i'm a saucy girl like i love the dip dip baby dip come on now dip baby dip did y'all watch freak nick did y'all watch freak nick did y'all watch freak nick oh you like ranch with it okay did y'all watch freak nick Oh, you saw the Ozempic? Woo! What made you come to that decision? Tweet out here performing. What she was performing at? Let me see song. I like tweet. That's on Hulu. It dropped this weekend. Oh, you like to live on the edge? Child, I can't wait to go to Vegas. Me and my girlfriend are so excited. So that's why like, I wanted to do my... um. The part you watched was interesting. Did anybody watch Shirley? On Netflix, Regina King. But, um, we so excited, like, just to get away and do Vegas. This is going to be my first time in Vegas. She's been before. But I just can't wait to, like, see, I'm on some grown stuff. So we already, <laughs> we already gave ourselves only two nights of clubbing. Two. We're going to be there for a week. But then again, we don't know what we're going to get into. Um, yes, yes. Um, we don't know because Couture Bay going to be there in 82. So, hey, y'all know I'm a party animal. So, I'm like these girls on Freak Nick. Get it, get it, get it, get it. It's like, nah. <laughs> But one of the things they highlighted how like this was like the sexual liberation for black women, the freak nick. Red Rock, is that in Vegas? I'm so happy Ariana moved out. She's such a miserable. Yes, I watched quite on the set, hunty. The creepy, creepy stuff. It's crazy because my kids used to watch those shows. But now looking back, it's like... They actualize the kids. Like, creepy adults. The Pedialytes of it all. Three of them was arrested for Pedialyte activities. I should have just slid up. Yes, I did. And Amanda Bonds, I'm just looking at everything now like, wow. Who knows what that girl endured? Did anybody watch Shirley yet? It, it, I'm glad it's sunny because it rained all day yesterday. I mean, all day yesterday. 
but you know what? I got up rested today and I got a lot done. Homeboy, that was John Wayne Gacy. Pen pal, a rebuke. Girl. People be sick. People be sick in their mind. she keep talking about she done taking revenge so let me know what y'all think about um odell and car trashy and breaking up oh this is a milestone Lindsay lohan has been sober for over 10 years and been glowing ever since becoming a mother love it love it Okay, you started watching Shirley. How'd you feel how Regina did? I felt like Regina did a great job. She's an awesome actress. She's an awesome actress. So. Oh, God. Sexy Red back at it again. Trolling. She's the, um. Shout out to Neighborhood Talk. They saying Sexy Red says she didn't wait six weeks after having her baby. And she was recently here. Saying that she gonna reveal who the baby daddy is, and I said, I don't care. I don't need to be in a group chat. We don't care. She said, Oh, the fuck? duty low gonna look me dead in my face and say, You ain't wake them six weeks, did you? Sure didn't, Buki. What's wrong? She gonna say anything to trend. Oh, shoot, 50 cent. Remnant, y'all know 50 Cent is single and celibate, okay? So he is reflecting on shooting his shot with at Vivica Fox at BET Awards. And he quoted and said, I got to learn to shut the f*** up. Oh, shit. Here we go. I'm just happy to be present. All of these beautiful people that I have to you know. I want to thank Vivica Fox for wearing that dress, too. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? And so 50 posted, he said, I look back at some of the ish that I did, and I got to learn to shut the F up. Look at that look at end. Wait. Look at that look at end. That's trouble. What the F? And then they started going together after that. And Vivica's still not over my man. <laughs> oh, yes. It did start off really good. Um, Shirley. St. Hudson said, Lindsay Hosea Lohan was such a talented actress, especially at her age. I'm happy for her. I am, too. I am, too. She messed up heavy. You talking about Vivica? And it, it seems like she's never been able to get over it. That look good. Lobster biscuit popster. Where's that from? Hold on. It make me hungry. Pasta from Trader Joe's. This recipe was so easy to make, but your guests don't need to know that. Serve this up to your boo on Valentine's Day and you will be sure to impress them. They'll think you spent hours in the kitchen working on this recipe when in reality you just followed a recipe hack that took about 30 minutes. All the ingredients you need are one short Trader Joe's trip away and you can use either langoustine tails or frozen shrimp. I like to season mine with salt, pepper, and some crushed red pepper flakes. Once you've got your medley of garlic, onions, tomatoes, and langoustine tails mixed together, go ahead and add your lobster bisque. This makes your pasta sauce so creamy and flavorful. I boiled some spaghetti and I mixed it into the sauce, but you can use really any kind of pasta. And for garnish, I use cheese and basil. They won't make me go to the store. The way she said, boo, that might be good. I'm going to go get some of that next week. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Khloe Kardashian out here talking about she's offering advice on being used. Hey, Melanie, sis, what's coming on? What's coming on? Did you watch Freak Nick? Did you watch Freak Nick or Shirley? Make sure y'all go over to Melanie Jones said so and subscribe. Make sure you go over to Kim Delivers and subscribe. Let's see what the car trash is. The car trash is a trend thing. One get broken up with, the other one trying to give advice. And none of y'all have been in healthy relationships. So Chloe is saying, know the difference between those who stay to feed the soil and those who come to grab the fruit. Girl, bye. This is on the tail end of you getting involved with Tristan, knowing he was in a relationship and had babies on the way. I'm just saying, make it make sense. You welcome, Melanie, anytime. They, of course, they feed off a of drama. But did you watch Freak Nick? Who is this? You say you don't think you can handle freak neck? It was all right. I mean, you know, I used to go to Greek Fest, so it's the same, it's all the same thing. People running around half naked, drunk, trying to hook up with each other. Same thing. I don't know. I watched Vanderpump Rules. Ariana finally moved out the house, thank God. Oh my God, welcome to the culture. They talking about the gender war. Do you feel like the gender war is running our community? Y'all let me know. Let me see what they got to say. I'm sick of the narrative that black women are strong, independent. I never, I didn't and say we're, strong, independent. We're not, man, a man does not want a woman who says she's a boss. It's a care man don't want a No, no, boss. no man. Touch they respect you, you as your singer that's and the pandering funny. because of your talent. But are they taking you home and saying, that's my wife? Somehow. There's a difference. Somehow, but that's a Between your art is. and being a wife. Because uh -huh. the Bible, too, you talked about being a Christian. Yeah. But it says the I just got your notification, Melanie. And younger women need to... Uh-huh. I did that update yesterday um, about the young girl in Brooklyn that got, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad they caught him. Babylon. I'm gonna be honest. But don't claim Christianity Hazy. if you're not willing to submit to when men are telling you. I could A lot of women are Christian TV. feminists. So you came Christianity when it works in your favor, you but you put down men and say oh, you're rebellious. You are antichrist, and you. Shut up, girl. Shut up, girl. The whole world is rebellious, and I rebuke. People with their outlandish point of views. People just need to shut up sometimes. But we live in a world where everyone feels like their opinion matters. And my thing is, walk in your truth. Stand in your truth. Stand on business. Y'all already know how we get down over here. Hey, Zeke. Did you watch a freaking Nick? Okay. <laughs> yeah, he turned himself in. His behind couldn't run. They was on his behind. Of course. Like, everything's on camera. You can't go nowhere, sir. You can't go nowhere. Um, I always went back and forth, Melody. Like, and I did notice a while ago, like, when I go live this way, I get more people in the chat. It's like they shoot out a notification or whatever. And by the time I get off alive or whatever, my views already be up there. So I always alternated back and forth. You know, not a crew. We used to do our little car ride vlogs or whatever. Um, I don't know. I'll try it next time I do it. I just didn't feel like being hooked up in front of a microphone and all like that today. Like I'm just I worked hard this morning doing spring cleaning. So I was like, let me just jump on here, shoot the ish. 
with my naughty crew for an hour before I have to start slaving in the kitchen chair. Oh, he did it that way, yeah. So, you know, when I don't want all the bells and whistles, I, just, I don't mind just jumping on here, doing it like this. Extremely masculine and what's a feminine woman and vice versa. Ooh, I like that. I think every puzzle piece has a place. And not every man's extremely masculine and wants a feminine woman and vice versa. You know, I feel like we all can have whether I think we all can have feminine or masculine energy. And that's just the thing. There's no gender on feminism or masculinity. It's energy. And I think at any point in time, we all can have masculine energy or feminine energy. But it's a matter of choosing a partner. Yes, St. Hutton. Choosing a partner that you're evenly yoked with where you could kind of balance each other. I, I mean, like, because I like a man to be a man. You know what I mean? Like, um, right energy. I just don't want my man wearing a skirt. No, no, not at all. And I'm wearing pants. I'm sorry. That's not my thing. No offense. No, I get it. I and I'm very very old school. Like I want a man to be a man. Like I, you know what I'm saying. Um. But I also want my man to be emotionally available for me. I want us to be able to be on that intimate level. If that makes sense. Like I don't want him like out here being a bitch. But like. Well, Drea was at the Houston Rockets game with her baby bump, courtside. We went over yesterday how um, Jalen Green has another baby. Yeah, Mary, Mary, I, I, I like a man's man. You know that be outside digging in the dirt, but see, I like digging in the dirt too. I got my tomboy side. Yes, some of the most masculine men have feminine energy. They need a boss, bitch. Look at Jason Momoa. Mm-hmm. How you doing, Missy? Thank you for joining. Hey, Carol. <laughs> it's all good. Better late than never. I just, you know, wanted to jump on here real quick with you guys. Just see what trending topics were out there. Dre was spotted at the Houston Rockets game with her baby bump. Or whatever. See, I'm versatile. I like to do I like to do my lives all different ways. Hey Daquana, thank you for joining. Please make sure y'all hitting that like button. They still trying to drive this Drake and um Lotto narrative. It's just like go sit down. Don't nobody care. Thank you. Thank you so much, Melanie. Russell Wilson is such a good dad. He's such a good dad. He, like, he's just a dope person to me. Thank you. Thank you, Melanie. Yes, like, comment, and share. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. All right, you guys, I'm about to get ready to jump off here because I'm hungry now. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to get this food cooking. I'm going to try this orange chicken, um, orange pepper recipe. I love the way, like, he took Sierra's oldest child as his own. I love the way he do the daddy-daughter dances every year. He's just consistent. You know what I mean? You could tell he really, really loves his family. Um, and I like to highlight when there's good men out there because there are still good men out there. Uh, 
We not all messy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Melanated maid, baby. Thank y'all so much. So yeah, no, spring cleaning today. About to go cook dinner. Um, I may treat myself to some wine, you know, and Netflix and chill or whatever. But I feel like clear and free. Like, I feel like I got some stuff out the way. Say Hudson said Russell would get some every night. I know that's right. <laughs> Let's leave it in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about Kim Kardashian and Odell Beckham breaking up. I say hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There is God. There is God. There is God. There is God. <laughs> Do I catch the Holy Ghost? Let me know what y'all think about Freak Nick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think about Shirley. <laughs> um and who else we talked about uh, I wanna rock I wanna rock I wanna they got me wanting to go to Trader Joe's like I might go to Trader Joe's and get this recipe cause it's different and I'll just bake the chicken and I'll be my lunch for tomorrow You haven't watched it yet. You didn't miss much. Oh, we got into Blueface. Wack 100 saying he getting out soon. I still don't think that's um his baby though. And Tommy Lee dragging Natalie Nunn. Yeah, ain't much going on. Ariel, Ariana Lennox finally got a house instead of being a bit of Betty. She is. And Jason Lee keep like, oh, the internet is dead without Blueface. No, it's not. I don't miss him. Do y'all miss him? I don't miss him. I don't miss him. I even like when Krishan is quiet. Yeah. I love when the circus leaves town. But make sure y'all check out Freak Nick. <laughs> exactly. They all troublemakers. They all troublemakers. So, I am going to check out Melody's premiere in a few. I appreciate every last one of y'all joining me. I love you. Hey, Anaya. I love you, too. I love every last one of you. Like, comment, share. We'll be back tomorrow morning for our morning Naughty Crew brew. All right? I'll make sure I get some good stories for y'all together. Yes. Who is Blueface and Krishan? Trash. Peace and reflections. Yes. And today is a very peaceful day. And I'm feeling good. And now Trader Joe's about to have me go spend some money. Um, Because I think I want this recipe, this pasta recipe. Lobster tails and tomatoes and basil with lobster bisque. Oh, Ariana is from Vanderpump Rules on Bravo. Yeah. She's she's the one she got cheated on real bad. Thank you so much, Anaya. I appreciate every last one of y'all. Hope y'all have a beautiful, blessed day. Until next time, Naughty Crew, I'm out. One. <laughs>